I think uh, we'll have to uh, go back. We got uh, 70 plus uh, millimeters of rain uh, yesterday and uh, last night, so uh, all the trees are, all the creeks are flooded. It's hard to go right now in the woods, so uh, I will try some other trails. I don't want to. Uh, I want to flush my motor if I was on a, my normal bicycle I don't have any problems but with the motor I think it's better to go go back so I will try to find another road all right guys so uh, I will show you my uh, my he bike that I'm using for grouse hunting uh, it's a rice bike. It's uh, sold by a company in uh, British Columbia, and uh, now I have like uh, 600 kilometers, and uh, haven't had any issues so far. Um, not a top-end quality bike. It's uh, like a 3,000 bucks with the the, um, the secondary battery and the tax and everything. I received it like for around 3,000 bucks. Uh, I, and I don't necessarily do a lot of wood trails in this summer but uh, I received it in the summer so it's my first ride hunting with it and so far I've been really impressed uh, I now I'm, I'm ascending like four or four, five kilometers need to take a break as you can see it's uh, an upper section so uh, uh, it's a um, the motor is in the hub, in the rear hub. It's a Bafang 750 watt hour uh, watt. So um, uh, you need to let it cool in the big uh, in the big hub. Here it's a big mountain, like uh, I think it's uh, 500 meters of altitude. So big mountain. Then it got a nine speed um, Shimano derailleur on it. So. Uh, a lot of speeds to uh, to change. Um, the first speed is the, the, the um, first speed is not uh, it's not geared like a mountain bike, but uh, with the uh, with the motor it's going uh, it's going really well. Um, got two batteries, two big batteries, so a uh, lot 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 of uh, autonomy, a um, lot of range. Uh, my biggest ride has been 62 kilometers. And uh, I just used the first battery, so uh, I think you can go get to uh, 100 kilometers if you don't go up uh, uh, that much. Um, but a uh, lot of range, not a problem for uh, a, a day of uh, grouse hunting when you go uh, walking some trees and take some breaks. So uh, really a nice range. Um, I think you can get uh, Barely as most uh, range as an ATV with uh, one tank of gas, uh, uh, so um, a lot of fun. So uh, front fork for comfort, fat tires. Those are uh, Kenda. Um, they grip really well. Uh, everything is wet, uh, wet rocks, and they grip really well today. Uh, really pleased with that. Um, after that, uh, controller, you got a controller, so uh, really nice uh, to control everything, see your speed, your odometer, everything is in there. Uh, after that you get the, to the, the level, assist level, you can go up and down, and the throttle, um, Tektro hydraulic brakes, so uh, not powerful brakes, but they do the job, but uh, I will see, but when I will go down and the, the disc uh, are wet, um, maybe it will be get a little slippery. We'll see. But uh, they are not the best, but they they do the job. Um, rack, uh, rear rack, and I uh, got a small pouch. Another under the seat. I got my tools in there. Um, there I got uh, bags for grouse and uh, uh, some stuff to eat. Bottle of water, front and rear uh, lights, LED lights, so uh, can uh, can go uh, in the night. So um, 
One thing I've added is the you cannot see it. It's under this uh, this small protection, but it's a uh, seat post uh, chuck. So uh, I it's been the first purchase I made for this bike, and it's completely changed the bike. Uh, it's like you have a small suspension on the rear, so uh, made a world of difference there because uh, you don't uh, feel. Uh, all the bumps and the rocks hitting your back, so uh, really nice to have. It cost around uh, 120 bucks, so uh, really nice. And the uh, mud guard, really, really helpful to stay clean. And as you can see, a lot of water. My boots are wet, my feet are wet, but anyway, I'm not far from home. It's just a just a small, uh, small. Uh, run in the woods take fresh air and uh, so really uh, really please I don't know if this thing will hold up uh, in the woods it's a Chinese uh, product for sure but we will see anyway uh, there's nothing uh, to, to uh, really fancy to broke there so I will uh, I will continue to ride it so uh, we'll see if the motor has cooled and uh, continue our way a little bit. So uh, that's what the trees looks like today. We got the Hurricane Lee that just passed by us. And uh, got a lot of rain. Probably more than 70, maybe like a hundred millimeters. So a lot of rain, a lot of water in the trails. Um, it's not, not really good conditions to see grouse. I think they will, uh, they will stay in the, in the forest where it's more dry. But uh, we will see. We'll continue and uh, check if uh, we can take some. Uh, can find some dry, uh, more dry trails up there. So uh, let's continue. All right, so uh, I found uh, another uh, small trail, small ATV trail. Um, really nice trail for uh, grouse. Killed, uh, I think, uh, like 20 or so uh, last uh, last fall. Um, I was trapping on these mountains for beaver, lynx and marlin and uh, it was a really nice spot for them to get some uh, big lakes up there um, and uh, many creeks so a really nice spot so uh, it's climbing a lot, uh, a lot of climbing uh, like a thousand feet, more than a thousand feet for sure so I don't think I will go uh, up there but uh, I will go up as, uh, as far as I can but oh trails looks like it's uh, it's broken a, a bit so we'll see where we can go so uh, there's not a lot of people passing here it's more uh, it's more of a moose hunting trail so there is just a couple of guys that uh, are working there to, to preserve this trail so that's not easy to uh, to access but so far it's going well a lot of water but the bike uh, doing it really well with the fat tire so uh, we continue a lot of fun it's like an adventure. We will see if we can go uh, up there. We've got many, many big rainstorms this uh, this summer, a lot. So um, the trail is really, uh, really uh, bad in bad conditions, like uh, compared to last year. But. Uh, we will see if, uh, if there's no uh, trees uh, falling. 
We will continue to explore this place. It's a nice habitat for uh, grouse. A lot of, uh, lot of birch, maple, like mixed hardwood. So uh, I've killed a, a couple of grouse last year here in the section, but there is many more in the in the upper section because there is more. It's more. Uh, a bit, it's better suited for grouse, more birch. So uh, anyway, we will continue, and uh, maybe we see something. All right, so uh, finally made it to uh, to the more uh, flatter, uh, dry section. Uh, the creek uh, comes by uh, the forest on this side, so uh, uh, now uh, it goes uh, down the mud, uh, in, right in the trails for maybe like uh, two kilometers or more. So uh, there is no uh, no other way to uh, to go. Anyway, so uh, going up the mountain, so far so good. No grouse, but uh, good uh, good time on the bike. Here it's more uh, mature, big hardwood, um, yellow birch, white birch, uh, maples. Um, so uh, not uh, the perfect grouse habitat. For me, yeah, but uh, it's really beautiful, really nice place to, to see. So uh, there is like uh, two or three kilometers on this uh, section, and then uh, we go more on the, uh, I will say, alpine section. So uh, it's more uh, small woods, small, a uh, lot of woods, forest uh, is a really uh, Spruce, uh, fir, birch, a lot of them. So really nice habitat for, for grouse. And uh, as, as I can see, uh, there's nobody there. Nobody's been there for a while. Uh, just a bike track. I know some people are doing this trail. It's on Trail Fox. It's called uh, La Route Blanche, uh, Chamain, uh, Key Coffin Road in Gaspé. So, uh, Nice place to uh, to do your fitness and on the bike. I think I will uh, I will go up on the great uh, section. I don't know uh, if I could be. Uh, there is a, a creek that uh, is crossing the trail uh, up there, so uh, I don't know if I if I will be able to to cross it. But uh, we will see right there. All right, guys. So now we are in the we are in the more uh, grouse habitat, as I tell you, uh, as I told you before. A lot of small trees, uh, fir, birch, uh, poplar, a uh, lot of food for them to eat around. So uh, I think we can find something here. But as you see, as you can see, uh, the water is still there. I don't know why, but Seems like uh, I don't have uh, all the power. Don't don't understand why. Everything seems okay, but motor is dry. Let's check if it's at. Yeah motor is hot so uh, we'll take a small break let the motor cool off because uh, it's been hard on the on him so uh, let it cool off and then we continue 
all right guys so that's it uh, i'm not going uh, further uh there's no problem to cross this creek that was the creek that i was talking about uh, anyway uh, i got uh, out of time so i have to go back uh, to house to uh, the stuff for the supper so um and the best part for grouse starting right right there for a couple of kilometers up uh, to the mountain so uh, I will come back another time uh, the water will flow away and then uh, it will be better for grouse and uh, I will come back for sure really like this part this place uh, nobody comes here so uh, anyway I will continue uh, We'll move our way back down the mountain. We'll see how the brakes will hold up. The, the motor uh, heated, heated a little bit. Now uh, it's time for the brakes. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Maybe we will see a, a grouse going back. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So uh, now I need to uh, fix something. So as you can see in my small pouch, I got my multi-tool that came with the bike. Uh, really helpful to have it. That's not a big deal, but uh, my steering post has come loose. So I took a tuck a tuck a little bit. So uh, we'll try to uh, we'll try to fix this because I'm going down. I will take maybe I will take some speed so it doesn't seem like the screw is loose ah oh yeah it's loose a little bit all right so always helpful to have some tools no uh, no flat so far on these tires so uh, I rolled them at uh, 10 psi. Um, found this to be the sweet spot for uh, mixed uh, hard uh, trails and uh, more rocky technical stuff. So uh, um, it gives just a little extra smoothness on the on those trails and uh, give you plenty of uh, of grip. So uh, that's uh, that's the way to go for me. So. Uh, we we'll continue. I'm going down right now, so we we'll see how this uh, how this goes. Here we go. Making our way down that mountain. I got plenty of power to uh, to break down the bike. I'm not on a big, big steep slope, but as you can see, uh, I can control my speed efficiently, no problem at all. So that's nice to see. And uh, that's fun with a bike because uh, I have four inch tires so it only takes me uh, four inch to go by and uh, to pass over obstacles and everything so this is really nice. That front fork is really cheap. I, I found it to be really wobbly. I can feel it in the in the steering like it's 
Oh, someone. Salut. Salut. Ça va? Ça va bien, toi? Oui, pas ici, t'as pas un peu? Ah, non, pas vite, pas de Non. Caroline, je t'avais pas reconnu, ça va bien? Alright, so uh, I just, uh, just see two bikers going there and uh, one was on the mountain bike and the girl was on the e-bike so really fun to see that uh, some people uh, use this trail for biking it's a really nice fitness so uh, really fun to see and uh, I know this guy because uh, we work at the same uh, at the same place and uh, I didn't know that uh, this guy was cruising there, so really cool. So continuing our way down in the water, a lot of water. Brakes are doing well so far. No grouse, but it's just the beginning of the season. We are uh, Sunday the 17th, so a uh, lot of sleeves, uh, too warm, like uh, 20 degrees, so really uh, too hot for grouse. I, uh, I prefer the October. Uh, late October, November season, when the leaves are gone and uh, the moose hunting season is finished. None of the people in the woods, that's the best time for me. Um, grouse is uh, becoming fat and big. So uh, I will take some... Uh, I will take some days off to, uh, to hunt them, for sure. And a couple uh, weeks of uh, after the moose hunting season. So, uh, working our way down. Really fun so far. We are in the maple slash birch section, mature hardwood, so uh, it's not a place to see uh, grouse because uh, as you can see there is no, uh, no cover on the ground, not a lot of food, so uh, I haven't seen uh, any grouse in this section uh, last fall and uh, I came here uh, more than 10 times so it's not their uh, their place they prefer the place where uh, there is a lot of cover and uh, so uh, I think I will love my bike for grouse hunting. Um, I love my ATV too, but uh, if I can save some gas and uh, and uh, do a little uh, fitness on the side, yeah, I will take it. I don't know how the batteries uh, will do on the more uh, cold this morning. October, uh, November, but uh, we will see. Anyway, uh, I will not go for uh, 100 kilometers in the, this kind of trails. Uh, we we'll say 30 to 50 will be uh, maximum, I think. Anyway, uh, when the when the grouse are active, uh, you do your hunt in uh, less than that, so. Uh, we will see. Uh, it's not uh, as uh, I've uh, talked with other hunters. There is not 
a lot of grouse this year last year was an awesome year but, um, I've been hunting grouse for more than 23 years now and uh, haven't missed a, a season killed a lot of them but last year was special there was grouse everywhere and this year it seems like they all they are all gone um, I don't know if it's we've got a lot of rain a lot of storms this this summer so maybe uh, it's because of that we've got a uh, cold and wet June month so uh, I think the all the nests have been destroyed um, so uh, if it's just the, the the last year ones that have survived I think that can uh, that probably can explain why they are so uh, not so uh, oh <laughs> was uh, deep so anyway we will see uh, I never had uh, big success on the opening days we will see uh, how the season is going don't have a lot of time to hunt them this year with two kids but uh, the kids will grow and uh, I will be able to, uh, to bring them my daughter loves to come with me but my my son has just uh, 14 months so he, he's too young to, uh, to train hunting my daughter, uh, if you can, uh, if you check my trapping videos from last year, my daughter came with me at beaver trapping, not far from home. She loved that being in the wood with his father, with uh, her father, and uh, she uh, she loves to uh, to be there with me. So really fun to enjoy time in the nature. I'm a French guy, so sorry if I miss some words. Um, I'm not perfect bilingual, but I, I think I, I can speak well in English. So uh, I will do this trail on my mountain bike uh, one day, just to keep it going down fast. This is rocky, this is rough terrain, so a lot of fun to do on the mountain bike when the water will be gone because now it's impossible to go fast it would take the, a wetsuit really happy with the bike really really happy it's uh, 3,000 bucks, it's a lot of money, but man, you can go everywhere with that, no problems at all. You can buy a, a mountain e-bike and go everywhere with no stress, nothing will broke and we will go down faster, but you know, that's uh, more than the double of this price and uh, Anyway, for, for grass and thing, you don't have to go fast. You have to go slow and check everywhere and listen. So, we are on the, where the water is flowing down the trail, so... That's part of the game today. That's the hurricane. And uh, going uh, slow like this isn't uh, too hard on the bike, no. There's nothing that goes bang, bang, bang. So uh, there's no problem at all. But if you were uh, going fast on this, going down, uh, I don't think the bike will hold together a long, a long time. They are not meant for that. They are meant for... 
for Mac. But then the stars hold so well on the rocks. Everything is wet, slippery, and uh, I haven't slipped so far. I set my pressure down. So a uh, lot of traction. Really nice. So anyway, I will continue my way back home and uh, let you know if I see something going down the trail. All right, guys. Very good uh, on the descending. Now I have to cross the creek. All right. There we go. Oh, it's wet on the feet. of water and uh, as you guys know it's mid-September so we'll, it will uh, it will get it will stay wet till the winter for sure so there will be a lot of water in the woods the creeks will stay high and there will be a lot of big water holes everywhere so we have to deal with that but that's not a problem with this bike, yeah, it's really nice to have the throttle. As you can see, I can I can keep my feet high and dry as much as, as I can and use the throttle in the, where the water is getting deep. And that, uh, that front mud guard keeps the water away from me. Uh, so uh, this is really nice to have. Here is a nice section, but I haven't seen the grouse there so far, but I know they are there. That's really nice habitat, but I haven't seen anything so far. to the main trail where uh, I had to turn back around uh, where there was too much water throwing down so a nice grass trail a lot of grass small rocks really nice for uh, grouse hunting but the problem is that there is a lot of creeks crossing and uh, no bridge no culvert so that's what it is Done uh, 15 kilometers so far. Battery is showing 100%. I know there's not 100% left because when it starts to drop, it drops um, more quicker, I have to say. But 15 kilometers, I've got many, many, many range to. Uh, and uh, the battery I haven't been fully charged. Uh, it's maybe like a month or so that I haven't used my bike, so I know the battery wasn't full, 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 so range is not a, a concern with those two big batteries. 
I think I got like 15 or 1600 watt hour capacity on those two batteries uh, so uh, that's big big capacity and that Gafeng motor is not uh, too hungry on the on the battery so wind is starting to picking up and it's what will uh, clear the the rest of uh, Hurricane Lee so. but uh, water is uh, is going to uh, it's going to cool uh, cool off uh, a lot this week we've got some morning that it will be like a five or six degrees so really nice uh, cooler temperature for, for graphs it will start to move so it's nice to see Oh, I love biking and grouse hunting, so uh, it's two passion that can be uh, you can uh, you can grouse hunt uh, with uh, with a regular bike, but you won't you won't do the the ride so big. I can uh, I can ride uh, all day long with this bike and. Uh, with uh, not that much fatigue and uh, I have uh, confidence that uh, and the big tires also are, uh, are really useful when the, the conditions will get uh, cooler and uh, muddier and uh, I think that uh, the big tires will, will do the trick Last year I killed, uh, I think, like two or uh, three grouse on this big road and there is a lot of people traveling there, a lot of of, uh, of camps and uh, hunting. It's a big, big road that goes far in the forest and a uh, lot of traveling and <laughs> I killed uh, two or three grouse. It's nice habitat on each side, so they are... Uh, when the morning will get cooler and the sun will hit the banks, they will uh, they will go and uh, they catch the sun, eat some rocks. So that's been uh, that's it for my I would say my first. Uh, it's not a day of hunting because I had just a couple hours to to go. So, uh, but uh, no grouse is not a problem for me. Uh, I know I will, uh, I will catch many, many in the in the days to come, in the months to come. Uh, anyway, we can uh, my, we cannot have more than uh, 15 per person in the cooler at home. But uh, for that, it's not a problem. I have uh, enough people in my house to to uh, to store grouse for the all winter, and uh, I have I already have uh, some grouse from last se season to to eat. I think I have like two uh, two or three of them in the freezer, so we'll hit them soon and replace it with the fresh. Fresh bio meat. So anyway, we'll go uh, a little faster. There we go. That's the fun with a with a fat with a e-bike that you can go fast. I killed one grouse there last year 
on the side of this creek. And uh, my house is just on the other side of the river. The river is there. And there is grouse everywhere around here. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Talking about uh, grouse hunting with, uh, with an e-bike. I will do many more videos uh, this season, I hope so. I will take time to film, that's what I like to do. Film my hunt, film my ride, and show you all the benefits of uh, grouse hunting with a bike. So stay tuned and uh, please like and subscribe, it means a lot for me. And uh, give a thumbs up. Thank you guys.